A simple click on a link can give a hacker instant access to your personal information. This link brings up a fake web page identical to the original Access Plus, a system Iowa State uses to keep track of students' U-bills, class schedules, and, if students are employed with the university, their W-2s. Hackers can use certain techniques to gain passwords to sites such as Access Plus or your email, which could give them access to your personal information. To show just how someone can obtain anybody's personal information or passwords, I asked three graduate students in computer engineering to try to hack me by using methods college students would most likely fall prey to, social engineering or phishing emails. The students sent me two emails, one to my Iowa State Daily account and one to my Iowa State University account. All right, so what we did was we were able to clone the actual Facebook web page using the social engineering toolkit and stand up a server um, using Kali Linux. We then, whenever you go to that IP address, it pulls up a page that looks exactly like Facebook. And when you type in your information, hit login, redirects you to the actual Facebook page. But it also posts back that information to this server. It sends us everything that you typed in, and we're able to steal your password. And how long did that take you to create? I would say it took us about an hour. We had never really used social engineering toolkit before, so we had to figure the program out, but um, as far as just cloning um, Facebook, it takes maybe five minutes. And how long did the social engineering aspect of it take, do you think? That part took a lot longer. We did have to search the internet for something that was very specific to you, something that would give you a realistic reason to click on a link that we sent you. To avoid falling victim to such techniques, Doug Jacobson, director of Iowa State University's Information Assurance Center, advises to never click on a link provided in an email, as it might be a mimic of the original, and to always go to the original site in a separate browser window.